December 21st. Um, it's really windy here. We're in Southeast Oklahoma. And uh, we had a picture of a big, pretty decent size hawk right here yesterday morning. There hasn't been any corn out in quite a while at this spot. And we actually hung a spin feeder yesterday morning. And we hung three or four other spin feeders on the lease. We're trying to get some pigs in here. showing up in daylight quite a bit there hasn't there hasn't even been any corn out here and they've been showing up so we put a little corn out for them last night so we're gonna see if we can't get one this morning All right, guys, we're about to get out of the tree, but we didn't see no pigs this morning. We saw three bucks, and it looked like two of them had already shed, and then there was a, a nine-pointer that I'd actually seen before he lost his lost his um, left side, but no pigs this morning. We're about to go do a little bit of work on the lease Hang, we got another feeder to hang today and we're gonna get back at them tonight. So we went out and did some work on the lease for about three hours. And by the time we got done with that, it was time to go get back in the tree. All right guys, we're about to head back out. Um, we hunted this morning and all we saw was deer. And uh, we're headed to a new spot. We have a boss buck feeder there. It's in the woods. And there's two big black boars that have been showing up. And uh, we, we named one Floppy Joe, and we named the other one Jarvis. And the reason we named one Floppy Joe is he's got a, like a broken ear and it's hanging down on the side of his head. But they've been showing up in there a bunch. And we threw a, we threw a bunch of fresh corn around in a circle around the feeder last night and sprayed it down with uh, sweet berry from Gear for Deer. So we're about to head in. We got about a 40 minute drive on the old Yamaha here, so we're gonna get in there. Got to put a climbing stand up so Dylan can film, but we're gonna see if we can't get one tonight. So we finally made it to the feeder. We get up there. All the corn that we dumped out the night before is just pretty much demolished. Most of it's gone. There's fresh hog tracks everywhere. The pig sign's there. All we have to do now is hop up in the tree and wait them out. So we'd been there about an hour now. We were all set up. All we had to do now was wait. We had a bobcat pass through. He uh, put on a show there for a little bit. And it's just kind of cool seeing them things out in the wild. Anyway, we were sitting there about 15 minutes after the bobcat passes through. Dylan taps me on the shoulder, says, big pig.
So this pig's coming in. We think he's going to come right into the feeder. He actually beds down, and I mean bedded down for 10 minutes, maybe even a little more. And we're sitting there watching him, and he gets up about 10 minutes later. And when he gets up, he's headed straight toward the feeder. He knows exactly where he's going. We got our first eye on him. Dylan did. Uh, Dylan's in a climbing stand below me. And he saw him going through here. And these pine trees are way too thick to shoot through. And uh, he stopped behind a tree right here. And we had a stare down with him for probably a solid 15 minutes. He would not. He just, he knew he was on edge. He knew something was up. He crossed this lane. I shot him right here about 40 yards. That's the one we came in here after we had we had two great big black boars about that size. I just saw him crash down there in the bottom. Give me some, brother. He was right here when I shot him, right around here somewhere. <laughs> for he's done dude since what I was telling you high shoulder shot and he's still you figured that would have dropped and these things are tough now Look at this thing. All right, guys. We found him. He only ran about 30 yards. About 30 yards down this hill. We saw him drop from the stand, but this is a great, great big old boar here. It's my first hog in southeast Oklahoma. It's a new lease. Haven't even had it for a year yet. And, uh, I shot my, this is the same lease I shot my buck at this year, but got a bunch of pigs that moved in here now. And this is one of the big pigs we had on trail cam up here at this boss buck feeder that we were after tonight. There's two about this size hitting that feeder and they just absolutely destroyed it. And uh, sure enough, me and Dylan came in here yesterday and dumped some corn out on the ground and sprayed it down with gear for deer, sweet berry spray. And uh, we were in the stand about two hours and Dylan spotted him, he came through. We had a stare down with him for about 15 minutes, but he finally came through, gave us a shot. 
He's on the ground. He's a big one. All right, guys, I just want to say thanks again, like always, for watching another one of our videos here at Willpower Outdoors. I hope you guys liked it. There's a lot more to come. Tell your buddies about us. Hit that subscribe button so we can keep putting these videos up for y'all.